续了咱们了。This is the first time I have been to Beverly Hills, and though it was a very beautiful day, and the roads were nice and smooth compared to what is in San Diego, those of you that are from San Diego know what I'm talking about. I was. Thinking Beverly Hills was a much bigger place, but I did enjoy my time there, driving around. It's just incredibly beautiful there. At the time I recorded this video, I was not thinking of making a YouTube channel, so I do apologize that the filming is vertical and not horizontal. You know, it's not 16 by 9. But now that I have this channel, I will make a point. To record in that format. It's a crime how expensive it is to shop and live in. Beverly Hills, California, but I just cannot get over how beautiful the day was with the weather was so nice and everything was very nice. It's too bad the rest of California isn't like this. The house you see here on the right, this one right here, is my house that I live in during the winter. Yeah, right.
navigate to Rio Dale Drive. The interesting thing I found was in the time I was there in Beverly Hills, I only saw a cop once, and that was a cop that was on a motorcycle. Now coming up here is my Corvette that I used to have. Again, not. On this day, after I finished driving around Beverly Hills, I drove to where Hugh Hefner and, more importantly, Marilyn Monroe are buried. But I was not able to get in, and so I hope in the future I'll drive back cross country to do that. On this day, after I finished this trip, I actually drove back across the country. Now turn right onto Wilshire Boulevard. In 500 feet, turn right onto North Rex Boyd Drive, then your destination will be on the left. When I made this turn, as you're about to see, I was so impressed with the architect of the buildings to my left and to the right. It's just amazing. While I was up in Beverly Hills and around the surrounding towns, I drove to where Marilyn Monroe had lived. And I was very surprised that her home was in a neighborhood with, you know, like regular homes. You would never thought a millionaire goddess actress had lived there. Unfortunately, I could not see her house itself because of the big gate that blocked the view, but that's where her house was. Um, unfortunately, I didn't capture that on film this time around because her home was in a very tiny cul-de-sac, cul-de-sac. And uh, so there wasn't much room for me to turn my car around if I was holding my camera at the same time.
Although Beverly Hills is a very wealthy part of California, I was kind of surprised to not see many Teslas, if not any, that were there. I mean, I'm driving in a Tesla, and I'm not a multimillionaire like these people, but I guess they're stuck in the past. Eventually, they'll catch up to the future and drive an awesome Tesla. And for those that are watching this and are wondering if I did see any celebrities, the answer to that question is no. I didn't even get a chance to park my car because I couldn't find any parking spots. But that's okay. I can at least say I drove around Beverly Hills or at least parts of it. I do have more footage of my time in California that I will put in another video that I'll be making and posting in the near future. Uh, and it will include some still pictures as well. And I believe I will include some extra footage that I had not included in my previous video of me traveling across the country. So look for that to be coming up in the near future. I could be mistaken, but I believe this car that I'm about to pull up behind, right there is a Model S, a Tesla. But I could be wrong. But it'd be cool if it was. And that means there was two of us in Beverly Hills. <laughs> 